Hi, so I am back with uh, after using this monitor for one week and I think uh, the last time I uploaded video, YouTube video, I think I scared a lot of people. So I just wanted to give uh, my feedback after using it for one week and some positive about this monitors monitor. So let's start with the front light. So front light is working really great. It's like uniform all over the place. It's not just in one place. So I don't know how they did it. Is it like maybe they use it in the middle as well? But it doesn't look like it's like on the sides. So, but it's light is uniform everywhere, which is good. And especially this night mode, it works really well when I'm working at the night time. But daytime, I don't need it. Uh, I, can, I can work it on without much light. And if I, I have like window on the, my right side, if I open that one, then it's more clear. But mostly I'm working with light on. So that's one positive. Also, I changed the uh, lot of setting in it. So I changed the resolution to Full HD. And I changed the theme to Windows theme on high contrast. That's what, what I have links here. So I will be sending that, I will share those links in my, in the video description. So Visual Studio, I installed a theme, a Visual Studio code. And for Android, I just found this one theme, but I don't use this Android Studio. There was like this uh, recommendation to install this font as well, which is better for e-ink, but I never used it. I don't know where to use it. So, so far I have not used that font anymore. Chrome. So I changed this theme to e-ink viewable theme. View Studio again, uh, high contrast. Let me turn on the lights. We have clouds today, so it might not be clear to you. And then console. I also changed the theme to Tango Light. So I'm gonna show one by one. Let's go to Google Chrome. Let me try to clear the coasting. Yeah, another positive thing about it, this one is we don't have that much coasting. Mouse speed is better and not much coasting compared to the previous version, the black and white. Dasang monitor version. So this one is better in that sense that I think mouse lag is less in this one and also not much ghosting. I don't I don't have to like continu continuously clear the ghosting. On black and white I was like always pressing that but monitor was really close to me so it was not a problem but I, I, I have to do that. So let's look into that this is how the writing look like so that this mode is text mode so you can see this picture you cannot see anything here but writing is really clear so i'm mostly keeping it in text mode when i'm working this is reddit and i was looking into bootstrap themes so this is how it look like that how the Google Chrome look like it's pretty readable not a problem I, in my previous video, I showed you the Excel usage as well. Excel is clear as well. Microsoft SQL Server works fine. Uh, I was using this Postgre database. So Postgre admin. So you can see. see. So when it is really dark, then it's a problem. Otherwise, it's working really well for me so far. 
let's go into this is Visual Studio 2022 and I change the theme let me check that so this this is the theme I change the color theme high contrast and if you run it let's see Yeah, so that's the test project. This is how it looks like after changing all the theme. So I have not done everything yet. You can see that this area is dark, this area is dark, and especially you have to find a bit when you have to close the window and pin the window. So you struggle with some time with that. But overall, it works for me. Sometimes like if you select this then it is get a little darker also look so when I click the bootstrap and when it will select the other bootstrap available in this text that other bootstrap text will not be visible it will just show it is selected but so the selection itself is readable, you can see this one. But the other text which is show like, hey, this, this is the text you selected, that's not visible. So if you like have, let me select this one. So you see, the first selection is selected, but the other two are gone, you cannot see it. So you have to like guess sometime, but it is workable. And I'm working on it, um, I actually, look forward working on this thing. Yeah, I'm setting that's how Video Studio 2022 looks like. Let me just show you that. Video Studio 2022 in high contrast theme. And then we have Video Studio Code. It has its own theme. I don't install it. So this one works better than the Video Studio. It's a Video Studio 2022. So this theme is e-ink theme. I will put link for that theme as well. So you can see this one is working really good. Yeah, here sometimes you have that problem. But this monitor is working a lot better than what I have in like the, the black and white Dasang monitor. This one is a lot better than that one. Uh, like in sense of viewing viewing stuff as well like the text and everything is more clear on this one what I mean is more clear and it's practically usable otherwise the black and white text was more clear but because it doesn't have that much shade and color so you will not a lot of things will hide in that dark areas in this one I can see stuff and I can see some colors as well you can see this color right here. So this one is like practically usable. I can work on it. Uh, I, already, I think I already showed this one. Post gray. And come on prompt. This is, I change the theme, like right click here and go to setting. And I change this theme, where was it? color scheme and then I select I think I selected this one yeah tango light I selected this one so because of that come on so you have to find sometime hey here it will be close button so you go there and click it you cannot see it really. but text is really clear you can see that so that's crump come on prompt and now that's text file and let me show you my video as well because somebody asked me can we do video chat on this one and let me change it to this is how it will look like on the 
uh, text mode but if I have to change it to that's video mode so you can see me you can do video chat but faces will not be clear so I think uh, if you want to work you can work on it but it is not like a regular monitor one more thing which I'm like after using for some time yeah we have after changing mode we have this ghosting but ghosting is not a problem when you're only working in one mode so it doesn't show up the one problem uh, just want to say so I have this monitor on the right side uh, the regular 4k monitor I have it there so if I cannot find something and if I have to like work on something like browsing and like videos or some pictures then I turn that monitor on but most of the time I keep that monitor off because otherwise I will start looking at that monitor I don't want to do that like that's what, what was happening when I had that black and white monitor so after some time you will just keep using the color monitor and you will not look at e-ink monitor so in this case I have that monitor and I have duplicated the screen on it but I use this e-ink monitor and only turn on the monitor when I need it if I keep that on and because everything is white so that monitor is throwing that white light on me and then I keep looking at that monitor so I don't want to do that so that's why I keep it off all the time you can see that that's my monitor here so I keep it off and I have this window on my right side so that putting light on my ink monitor even if I don't have the don't have to turn on the light uh, front light all the time uh, one more thing I noticed is like it has USB-C connection as well but on USB-C it will not like I have this mouse and keyboard connected to the monitor so let me, I think I can show you so, so this is USB-C cable which I use uh, to connect my laptop to my LG monitor and if I have to use my uh, keyboard and mouse I connect my keyboard and mouse behind my uh, monitor LG monitor and that USB-C cable is actually is doing everything for me like it's transferring the data for display it is also charging my laptop and keyboard mouse is also working but in case of this e-ink monitor I cannot do that so if I connect it with my USB-C cable to that uh, to e-ink monitor it will not charge my laptop because the, the charger it has it come with it like 12 volt so it will not charge my laptop also my keyboard mouse will not work if I connect my keyboard mouse behind this uh, e-ink monitor so what you have to do is they provided another USB cable so you have to connect that USB cable from your laptop to e-ink monitor and then you can connect your keyboard mouse behind this e-ink monitor so if you have to like they like output and input USBs so the output will work only if you give that input USB connection to make it hub and then it will work like it will but it will not work on one USB-C single cable so USB-C only will give you display it will not provide anything else and so far I have not worked on the wireless display as well I actually tried it but I think there was some problem I forgot what was the problem so I'm not using that yet so I'm just connecting the HDMI cable and USB-C I'm using for the LG monitor so that was just quick review uh, let me know if you have any question uh, 
Yes, so far I have like positive. I can work on it. It is not a replacement for other monitor, regular monitor, but you can work on it and it's uh, easy on your eyes. It's good and it's better than the black and white monitor. Mouse lag is less on this one. Uh, data text is more visible on this one and not much ghosting. You don't have to like frequently clear the screen. So working good, really good for me. Yeah, I mean, you can see this, like if I minimize this window, there's no ghosting behind it. There is, but it's like workable. On black and white, it's a lot more than that. Okay, thank you very much.